What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. Okay, what is here? Take energy bar. Visual text energy bar? How are you doing, Carly? No, I don't want to give you energy bar. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Wait, you're a reporter and you can shoot that well? Damn. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. The they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Carly has a crush on Doug. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Uh, what are you working on? What are you on? messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here. Let me have a look. Uh, power. Hmm, nothing. Right. If it's got no power, then either the batteries have run out, or there are no batteries in it. There are yep. no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? What do you mean you don't know what to look for? The batteries. The double A's. Triple A's. Talk to Carly. I've already talked to Carly. Uh, I'll talk to Doug in a bit. I mean, the, the fucking chip, the triple A's, they're not that hard to find or to know what they look like. Battery over there. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Okay, that's one battery. Give Ducky. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah, I know. I'm such a good guy. We're not. There's another one. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Give one to Ducky and give one to Clem. Uh. I will talk to you lot in a bit. Ooh, there's another one as well. Any more? Ah, battery. Ah, there's another energy bar over here. So one for Ducky, one for Clem. As much as I don't like Larry, I'm going to offer a peace offering and give him uh, a candy it's not bar. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You're welcome, Clem. You took care of Clementine. Come on, I'm going to take care of Clementine. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. No, seriously. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What's wrong with him? You're from here. What do you think about all of this? Well... It, well, if he didn't really kick off, then he wouldn't be having this problem. If he'd have stayed calm... Asked who we were, what was going off, then he would be fine. But no, now he's keeled over on the floor, needing uh, nitroglycerin pills. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. He's he got has a got a temper. temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah. He doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? 
Uh, never mind, I'm sure he's a good guy. We've got kids here, families. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you can't really go swearing around kids. It's not... We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Yeah. Uh, you're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Uh, was anyone here when you got to the pharmacy? What do you guys think of all of this? Yeah, was anyone here? Was the parents still alive? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Nice. So he doesn't really get to uh, pay respects to his fam, to his to his parents, because Larry's just gone. Oh look, come the dead guys. Yeah, let's chuck them out. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Whatever that old song is. Right, now let's stick these batteries this into... This battery should fit the radio. The radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Or produce a hell of a lot of static. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Let me guess, you've got the batteries the wrong way around? Oh, wouldn't you know it? Close the door. Flip it around. Don't flip your shit. Turn it on. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full. Uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. God bless you all. Don't know what to say, Carly. I think they didn't make it. Hey, Carly. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, you don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Carly noticed your concern. Yeah, it's okay. You know, you don't... I mean, fuck's sake. It's a zombie apocalypse. You don't have to be all tough guy and... You know, you, you can be afraid. You can be scared. Uh, let's talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. 
Great. We'll so look like caged meat. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Or caged food. as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, there's no going to the Winchester and uh, waiting a few days till it all blows over. That's for sure. Who are you, Trap Walker? Look at the one trapped over there. Everett's Better prescriptions. Be Everett. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Could be a drugstore kind of he has a filmy face. He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know it. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And no, you know he has the pharmacy keys. Let me guess, that's your brother. Uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. I can't reach the brick. brick. What do you mean you can't read the brick? It's right there. Just hold your hand out. Jesus Christ. I can't reach that brick. Uh. It's a combination lock. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. That's it. That's even if there is any news. All the stations could have uh, could have been taken over. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Mm, you think? All right, let's head back let's inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Great. Uh, let us head into. We've given you. I've got one candy bar left. Who can I give candy to? Do you know what? I'm Carly. I'm going to give you a candy bar just because you. S yeah. You saved me earlier, so uh, you get a candy bar. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're I've already a good given caretaker. Her Thanks. Don't worry, Carly. She's watered. She's fed. I gave her, her uh, a candy bar earlier. So she's all good. She's all good in the hood. Right, let's head into the office. Alive inside. Mmm, I doubt it. Unfortunately, you had to come back here at some time, at some point, Lee. You know, some people make it, some people don't. The parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. 
Well, then he died an honorable death. Yes, his brother. Lee, why? Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Okay. I don't get why Lee isn't... I don't get why Lee isn't telling people that he has connection to this place. Like, this is his parents' store. Would you not... Would I don't know. Like, I think... I think earlier it would have helped the situation if he had told them... That he, his parents own the store. It's like, well, right now, you're being safe. You're being kept safe because of my parents. Because this is my parents' store. So how about you shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down? It may have helped. I don't know. Uh, everyone's still okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well. Maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Clem, do you, don't you, don't you, don't you worry your pretty little head. I will keep you safe. From this uh, zombie apocalypse. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Right. So, not heard from Glenn. That will just lead to the outside. First Anything aid kit. kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Right. There's nothing in the first aid kit. Lee, what are you getting stuck on? Move this pallet because we need to get into the office. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Eh, they can be. Not always, though. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. She's not anywhere near any drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. <laughs> do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. 
I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Those weird eyes on Clementine. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um... Not exactly anymore, no. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. It's called avoidance, Clementine. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Um, because they're dead, I hope not. It's just complicated. I wouldn't blame them. Uh, should we be blunt with her? I don't know. I, I don't think we should be. I mean, she's like, what, eight years old? Ah, oh, I wouldn't blame them. Let's just be blunt, because this could just lead to more questions, and it's I, I think it's just going to upset Lee even more. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with her. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Whoops, she got a splinter. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. See? Lee's being a good a good dad without even being a dad. Um, give bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go, Clem. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us, I don't think they will. Lee? Oh, shit. Um. I asked you a question. Ooh. 
to find us. Uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah, we uh, don't want to upset her. That's for sure. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. In the drawer, I'm guessing? There we go. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Yep, it's gonna be nothing, because uh, there's nothing there. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Keys are on that zombie out on the street. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Uh, how'd you think? How's you think? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. You are complaining. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Right now we need to go see Doug because we need to give him the picture to prove. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh, no. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Around to Doug. How? We doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I can't reach that brick. things like TV or at least the sound of it if they were louder we might be able to clear the street I can't reach that brick how'd you end up here well, I moved here to live with my uncle he does tech stuff and it just made sense so you're local you probably knew the owners of this place no not really I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's head back inside. Okay. Hey, 
Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs>